Yeah, you have the bears less affordable. that will tell you and will say with conviction that if you, if you decrease rates now, prices will go down. I feel, and I've always said, and maybe I'm crazy, but like, I don't know if the market works the way it always used to work, but like, I think once that sentiment changes, uh, which is like you said earlier, interest rates going to just change sentiment regardless, even if it's a quarter right. point. Like, don't, don't you still feel like there's so many people waiting to just rush back into this thing like for some kind of a sign that it's the right time again yeah i mean it seems like it when you have funds approaching me saying hey is there like a way for us to to put 100 to 200 mil into distressed assignments like is there a uh, is there a like a simple path for that like when you have like these guys coming to you on a monthly basis um you're like okay like there's a lot of people who are looking at this as an opportunity rather than you know what I mean? And so I, I would assume so. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it's also, it's also just a tough conversation. Cause it's like, no, there is no simple way. Like it's, it's piecemeal, you know, you, you've got two, you've got 20 assignments here, but only like five of them can't actually close. So you get five good deals there and then you got to go to this building. And so management's a nightmare. And then after you add your closing costs, you're actually pretty much at parity with resale. So like maybe just buying resales easier. And then, so it's kind of like you kind of have to get them as bulk deals from the developers who are hurting. But I don't know. It's just whole, this whole thing. It's like it's not actually easy to 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 deploy capital that way. But, anyway. but why do people with that kind of capital think that that is a good way of deploying it? I have no idea. It's the know. same thing. It's always sounds kind of dumb. Yeah, it's like, well, Simon, there's a deal. Let's look into that. Multiplexes. Let's go into that. Like, you know, we're having those meetings, Daryl, talking to people about multiplexes because everyone's raising money to do you know, part of the, the missing middle work. And when you really boil it all down, they're not really doing anything or buying anything or building anything, but they sure as heck have raised some money in order to be able to head in that direction, you know? So, and, and it's trendy. You got to use buzzwords to raise money. It's trendy. That's why. Okay. We are raising money for the perfect missing middle yeah. major streets. If if you say if Youth you say detached housing center. suburbs fund, nobody's buying suburban. It. Nobody's putting their money in. They're gonna say detached houses in the suburbs. Jeez, they've been doing that forever. But yeah, as soon as you get into some sort of niche market, then everyone buys into it, and the fund has been created. Let's you know? go. Yeah. Well, I see it all the time, even on an individual basis. So you'll get, you know, I'll get a past client shoot me an assignment they found. They're like, this seems like an amazing deal, and then I bring them some recently sold you know, resale comps in the building next door. And I'm like, actually, like after you account for the additional closing costs on that pre-con, even if we get 10, 20, 30 off the price, like this, the resale is actually still a better deal. And like, oh, that's, but the seller is losing 150K. How is that possible? And mm -hmm. I'm like, that's just how it is, man. Like I, you know. Yeah, that's why are you buying just it? how it is. Yeah. Are you buying it just because the seller's losing money or are you trying to buy it because it's like, you know, of utility to you or you know this is a good investment because if it's just the seller losing money it's a horrible strategy because even though the seller's losing 150 you still could be paying 100 grand more than your yeah you yeah i was gonna to say to yeah know? are they getting it even for what it's worth after they beat the shit out of the bot the, the previous buyer yeah are exactly. they still that's paying why, over yeah. that's why it's so deal specific like it's not really relevant what the seller is losing or gaining like all that matters is what could you pay resale for it and if you can't get it under that after accounting for the additional closing costs, then why would you buy the assignment? Like, it's just, mm -hmm. it's really that simple, but people love to see someone bleeding. They love it. Like comment and subscribe. If you got anything from one of these clips and if you want to see some more, press something on the screen here. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. That was good. I like that. That was good.